According to BBC News, James Cameron, the renowned Hollywood film director who directed the 1997 movie Titanic, recently expressed his views on the submersible accident that resulted in the loss of five lives. Cameron stated that the team responsible for building the submersible, known as the Titan, had taken shortcuts and cut corners. He further criticized Oceangate, the parent company of the Titan sub, for not seeking certification because they were aware they wouldn't pass the required standards. Cameron himself expressed doubts about the technology used in the submersible, stating that he would not have boarded it. Cameron, who has completed 33 submersible dives to the Titanic wreck, highlighted the differences between the Titan and the Deep Sea Challenger submersible he used in 2012 for an expedition in the Pacific. The Deep Sea Challenger took him to the deepest known oceanic trench at a depth of 10,912 meters, 35,800 feet, whereas the Titanic wreck is located at a depth of 3,810 meters, 12,500 feet. Cameron mentioned that when he learned about the sub's loss of navigation, communication, and tracking simultaneously, he immediately suspected a catastrophic event like an implosion. An official from the U.S. Navy stated that they detected an acoustic anomaly consistent with an implosion shortly after the Titan lost contact with the surface. This information was shared with the U.S. Coast Guard team, which used it to narrow down the search area. Cameron drew parallels between the loss of the Titan and its crew and the sinking of the Titanic in 1912. He expressed a terrible irony in the situation, emphasizing that warnings had been given to Oceangate, comparing it to the failure to heed warnings during the Titanic's time. In 2018, the Marine Technology Society MTS, sent a letter to Oceangate, expressing concerns about the experimental approach and warning of potential negative outcomes. Court documents also revealed that a former employee of Oceangate had raised safety concerns about the vessel as far back as 2018. Guillermo Sonline, a co-founder of Oceangate, defended the development program of the Titan, stating that it had undergone rigorous testing. Although the submersible was not certified, Sonline argued that it did not mean the company did not meet standards where they applied. Cameron stressed the dangers of venturing to the Titanic wreck and urged individuals to be fully aware of the risks involved. He expressed disappointment that in the 21st century, with all the advancements, such accidents should be preventable, emphasizing the need for proper disclosure of risks associated with the diving platform. Overall, James Cameron criticized the construction and certification process of the Titan submersible, expressed his suspicions about the technology used, and emphasized the importance of safety and risk awareness in deep-sea expeditions.